We've got a Toshiba Satellite Pro here with an Intel Celeron 925 and that's part of the um, Core 2 Duo family. So, you know, it's from a decent family of uh, processors, but the problem with the Celeron 925 is that it is a single core and a single thread processor. So there's one single core and it doesn't support hyper threading. Um, so in terms of Windows, you've basically got a single core and that's going to hurt your performance. This laptop is running Windows 7 and has been reset back to a um, factory state of being and as you can see it is pretty slow. The memory has been upgraded to 6 gigabytes, but it's still slow because of the processor. With Windows 7 this uh, system should be alright really. Um, but what we need to make sure of is what's running and if we have a look down here there's a Tosh Toshiba bulletin board, there's a Toshiba Tempro app that we don't necessarily need and if we have a look at the, what's using the processor the most um, we should in theory if we click show processes from all users we should be able to see that there's some things running, there'll be Windows Update running and whatever this is, uh, .NET runtime and what we want to do is look at things we don't need there's all sorts of other apps we're not necessarily going to need and uninstall things we don't use that should speed up the system to install an update just as installer but in theory once this all settles it should um, run reasonably well for basic things if you have a look in the control panel and go to uninstall programs um, there's so many Toshiba apps on here that you can't they don't even fit on the screen so they just fit on the screen there must be 10 20 25 different Toshiba apps installed on here so we're going to start by just removing as many of these as possible and that should speed up the system you also want to look out for any antivirus software that might be slowing it down it might be pre-installed we're still uninstalling these Toshiba apps and uh, as we're doing that we're seeing the memory uses go down slightly and if you're unsure about what to uninstall uh, just uh, put the name of it in Google and you'll get a website that tells you what it's for I'm going to uninstall most things here I might just leave on the HDD SSD alert um, just so that we know when or if the hard drive ever has any problems I've installed lots of stuff. I've left Toshiba HD Alert. I've left the Recovery Media Creator. I've left the webcam app just in case someone wants to use the webcam app. And this TRO RMC launch is to do with the Recovery um, Media Creator or something like that. So I've left that on and we're at about 2 gigs of memory usage. So I'm going to restart and see if we've got a quicker system we've restarted uh, we've got far fewer things here and we're only using about 930 megabytes of memory before it's around 1.6 to 2 gigabytes so this should be generally a snappier system and um, I may also look at removing this um, game here that we don't necessarily need and cleaning up a few of these um, desktop icons we don't need. This is the speed of the uh, hard drive in there. As you can see, it's not very quick. But um, that's what you get with the uh, hard drives.